Ah, it feels good to be on my feet again. That was a long flight. Wow, things have definitely changed from the last time I was here. Well, it's gonna change even more. My intel on this place came up and it looks like this base will be relocating to a new spot. About 300 miles east of here. That's right. And the scuttle button HQ hints that Adventure International might take it over. But right now, our priority is to find those lost researchers. That's a big 10-4, brother. Not to mention that creepy demon eye thing we're looking for. Hey, looks like our cab is here. You must be Lieutenant Farrell. I believe you guys are our ride into Taman Nagara. We are ready anytime you are. Major Hickman, it's an honor, sir. Your reputation in the U.S. Special Forces precedes you. I'm a civilian now, Lieutenant, so John is fine. So tell me, how long will it take to reach our drop-off zone? Uh, yes, about that. I'm afraid there has been a change of plan, sir. Uh-oh. Here we go. The incident regarding your lost researchers was somehow leaked in the news. It doesn't appear that they know all the details, but opposing parties to the current government is making us think about it. Our military part in this operation, however small, does not make for good optics. I'm afraid that your team will need to find another way to get into Taman Nagara, sir. Well, that's just great. All of our gear has just been offloaded off that C-130. And here we are without a way to reach our drop-off point. This is real bad juju. We'll miss the rendezvous with our advisor, not to mention delaying our heavy equipment arrival. Maybe we can hire one of the locals to drive us there. There has to be at least one truck in one of the nearby villages. I'm afraid you won't find anyone that would be willing to do that in this lake. Right now, everyone is deathly afraid to go anywhere near that jungle. I'm very sorry. Well, that settles it. Okay, team, grab your gear. Looks like we're walking. Lieutenant, we'll come back with the scarab for the rest of our equipment when we establish our base camp. You can't be serious. That's better than a hundred miles through hostile jungle. You'll run out of sunlight way before you reach your drop-off point. It's all right, Lieutenant. This isn't the first time we've done something like this. Walking is so overrated. Well, look who's here. Right on, man. What? No way. Never fear. Ron the Birdman Reynolds is here to save the day. Ron, you sure are a sight for sore eyes, my friend. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you and all, but what are you doing here? You're supposed to be on a ship with Eddie along with the heavy equipment. Did you fly in? You and Eddie aren't due here for a couple of days. Commander Rebel got a heads up from the base commander here about the news leak and anticipated your predicament. So HQ sent the chopper to the ship for me so we can recon the area and establish a base camp. You guys are so lucky, and I got a surprise for you. Oh, beautiful. We have a new chopper. Tiller B. I like that. I take it that this is our ride into Taman Nagara. Mm, this is gonna be fun. That's one boss helicopter, Ron, but it's still not big enough to bring the jetpacks. I assume the aerial recon part of the mission is canceled or postponed? Uh, well, no, it's not canceled and we are taking the packs because, uh, you guys will be wearing them. Oh, what do you mean? What you talking about, Ron? Oh, uh, uh don't worry. Uh, you're gonna have fun. Trust me. Mage, I mean, Mr. Hickman. This came in for you from your HQ, a eh, Commander Morgan? Thank you, Lieutenant. 
I'm sorry we couldn't be of any help to you in this case, but if you find yourself in deep trouble, just call us and we would be within our rights to go in and render assistance. That's good to know, Lieutenant. Thank you again. All right, gang. Looks like HQ sent over the files on our German advisor. His name is Klaus Becker. As you all know, he was supposed to go with a now missing science team, but due to a case of food poisoning, wasn't able to go. He didn't know it, but he was lucky he ate that bad taco. Check this out. He was an ex-GSG-9 commando before going into the science field. Says here he joined cause he wanted to prove he could. Wow. This part echoes what Alan's already told us. He made it through the Adventure International Selection Trials up until the last test, which he failed. Says here candidate failed to demonstrate team working abilities. All these degrees and honorifics. Failing to get in the A-team must have been a big blow to his ego. I was thinking about that, but he did volunteer to help us out, so maybe he got over it. All essential gears are stowed and secured. Anything else you want me to do? Hey, why am I carrying this stuff? I'm the pilot. Haven't you heard the saying, shite rolls downhill? I'm on the Humvee, and you're down there, which makes you downhill. What? That doesn't even make sense. Man, I'm too beautiful to make sense. What does that even mean? You clowns are gonna end up walking if you don't get this stuff unloaded. Ha, huh. you can't make me walk. I'm the pilot, remember? Don't tell me you didn't know Susan checks out on helicopters. Is that true? Yep. Got certified five years ago. You know what? These packs are lighter than they look. <laughs> Lieutenant Farrell, thank you for watching over our equipment. Someone from our team will be by to pick them up in a couple of days. No thanks necessary, Mr. Hickman. It's the least we can do under the circumstances. Good luck on your mission. Thank you for flying Ron Air. This is your Captain Ron speaking. Please put your trays in the upright position and observe the no smoking sign. We have a short flight today, so we will not be serving snacks or drinks. Ron, cut it out, you nut. Okay, no penis for you, I guess. Okay, gang, listen up. Your packs are maglock to those seats as well as having safety belts, so don't worry about falling off. We'll fly over the original drop-off point and look for some kind of clearing in a nearby water source. With some luck, we might even spot our advisor. There won't be a place where this big chopper to lands, so you will have to para jump off the killer bee using the new jetpacks. Those babies are jump rated so they won't flame out like the original versions. When you're airborne, you are to split up and recon the area and establish the best spot as our base camp that you guys copy. Roger that, Kimosabi. Copy that, killer bee. Copy that, Ron. Now let's blow this popsicle stand. Hey, Jim, you aren't kidding when you said this jungle was big. There's nothing but thick rainforest, as far as the eye can see. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Back when I was a ranger here, we would hike these rainforests for weeks before hitting anything resembling civilization. We should be over to drop off point in about half an hour. At that time, you can unfasten your safety belts. 
when I release the Maglock to slide off your seat. Activate your jetpacks as soon as you clear the chopper. What the hell was that? Oh crap, it's a target lock. Give me that, you stupid newt, or you'll end up blowing us all up. <laughs> Be careful with that, you idiots. Quickly, before we lose sight of the target. Our new client certainly has very exotic taste when it comes to weapons. We only have a few rockets, Boris. You had better not fail. Do not worry, Captain. I've handled rocket launchers before, many times. Fired Pan says he misses the chopper by a mile. Ron, did you say you got a target lock? Yeah, but it's gone now. Maybe this new bird is bringing itself in. Ah! That was a damn rocket. I think I saw the flash from the launcher, but the forest canopy is too dense. These guys are launching some sort of high-tech proximity fuse missile. Lucky for us, they suck at aiming. That last one almost knocked the filling out of my tooth. Man, I hope you got a plan to fly us out of this. We're sitting ducks out here. I know, I know, but the bee is too heavy. She's not as maneuverable with the extra weight. Our best chance is for you guys to jump now. If we split up, it may confuse them enough for us to escape. Sounds like a plan. Okay, team, listen up. We're going to release our safety belts. As soon as Ron releases the maglocks, jump and fly in separate directions, starting with Jim. Then Susan and me last. Copy that. You'll feel the seats when it lets go of the pack. Jump as soon as you feel it give way. Copy that. I'm going to hit for that waterfall over there. You guys should also pick a spot along that river so we can easily find each other. Good idea. That pretty much means we shouldn't fly like we're headed for the river. goes nothing. Well, it's been nice snowing, you guys. I'll see you around, Birdman. I'll try to draw their fire away from you guys. The killer bee feels like a little ballerina. She should dance circles around those dirt bags now. All right, adventure team. You know what to do. Make sure to turn on the transponders on your radios when you hit the ground. Roger that, boss man. I'll see you guys on the ground. Yeah, hopefully in one piece. All right, Birdman. Don't you let those guys take you out. Better lay low for now. No telling how many of them are crawling around here. But first, I better check in. This is Black Beauty calling Looney Man and Crazy Girl. I repeat, this is Black Beauty calling Looney Man and Crazy Girl. Over. This is Looney Man. You're coming in loud and clear, Black Beauty. What's your situation? Over. Everything is A-OK, -okay, Buana. Just chilling until further orders. Over. This should be a good spot to lay low. God, I hope Ron is okay. Better check in with Booney and Jim. This spot is as good as any. That was a close call. Whoever those guys are, they weren't fooling around. That's our bird, man. Looks like Ron managed to evade those rockets. I wonder who those people were. They sure weren't your run-of-the-mill poachers. My guess is mercenaries. Well, howdy, old-timer. 
You look like you want to tell me something. You wouldn't happen to know where those mercenaries went, would you? Huh, you don't say. That last blast must have really shook my brain. I do believe this tortoise just pointed up where these mercenaries are. This is Crazy Girl calling Boonie Man and Black Beauty. Come in. Can you guys hear me? Over. This is Boonie Man, Crazy Girl. You're loud and clear. Black Beauty just checked in and he's okay. What's your situation? Over. I've landed safely. No signs of bad guys around. There's a lovely stream back here. I'd go for a skinny dip if it weren't for the crocodiles and the snakes. Over. They don't call you crazy girl for nothing. Okay, listen up you two. This is how it's gonna go down. We're about 25 minutes to the drop-off point from our last location. Jim is at the waterfall. I'm about 800 yards downriver, which puts Susan in the middle. Jim, you start heading downriver until you meet Susan. Keep within sight of the river. You don't want to follow it along too close in case those jokers are keeping an eye on it. The packs only weigh 75 pounds, but it's a hassle humping it through this thick jungle. If I know Ron, he's already alerted the airbase. Those dirt bags will scatter once they see sight of a pair of 810 warthogs. After the all clear, we fire up our rocket packs and fly to the drop off point. These vermin took shots at us. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to get some payback. Over. These guys don't know who they messed with. 100% brother. Now let's get this done. I do not have much time. Those fools will notice I've gone. Ah, here it is. Just there I left it. Excellent. Agent 41 calling high prime. Agent 41 calling high prime. This is a priority one transmission. Come in. This is high prime. Do you have the demon's eye? Negative high prime. I do not have the eye. Then why am I talking to you? I am afraid a new set of problems have entered the game, sir. Explain. We have spotted an adventure international helicopter entering Jaman Nagara. We attempted to shoot it down, but the mercenaries I've been attached to failed to bring down the helicopter. Did they find out who you are? Negative high prime. As far as they are concerned, I am just one of them. A hired mercenary. That is good, Agent 41. It is vital that your identity be kept secret until the end. Your life depends on it, Agent 41. I understand. I will not fail, High Prime. Agent 41, out. I should have killed you myself, Becca. You are the reason why Adventure Team is here. But you are not just up against a simple-minded mercenary. You're up against me. You're up against an agent of Axis.